Something weird is happening in Samsung's latest update, and if you're a Galaxy user, this one's going to catch you off guard. A major feature that was supposed to improve navigation might be quietly getting scrapped just when we thought it was about to go mainstream. Welcome back, viewers. James here. Smash that like button, share this with your fellow Galaxy fans, and subscribe for more updates just like this one. So let's dive in. One UIA Beta 2 is rolling out for the Galaxy S25 series, and users were expecting big improvements, especially with the predictive back gesture. You know, that slick preview that shows you what's behind the screen as you swipe back. It was finally supposed to work beyond just Google Apps, but now it's gone. Literally missing from the latest settings menu in the new beta. Here's where it gets strange. This feature was there in early internal builds. So either Samsung is playing hide and seek with us, or they've temporarily disabled it for testing. Either way, something's up. No official word yet, but some trusted leaks suggest it's not a permanent removal. Fingers crossed it makes a comeback before the stable release, because losing it now would be a huge step back. Meanwhile, One UI 8 itself is heating up fast. Samsung is expected to launch the beta more widely, possibly extending to countries like India and Poland, and maybe even more Galaxy device. If you're holding onto a Galaxy S24, even the S23, hold tight. Updates could land sooner than you think. According to Fresh Leaks, the S24 series might start getting the One UI 8 beta by the end of June or early July. As for the S23, early to mid-July looks promising. And while those aren't official dates, internal testing is reportedly full steam ahead. So don't be surprised if you get a notification sooner than expected. But here's the curveball. Samsung's foldables are also in the mix. Yes, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 might be joining the One UI 8 beta lineup very soon. No formal announcement yet, but knowing Samsung, they could drop it without warning. And if that happens, it'll be the first time older devices and brand new foldables get beta access almost simultaneously. Now, before we get too excited, let's talk about the one thing that drives Galaxy users crazy, battery life. One UI 7 was kind of a disaster in that department. But guess what? One UI 8 might just be redemption in software form. Leaked screenshots from a Galaxy S25 Ultra running One UI 8 beta are showing something incredible. Owen time with 22% battery left on Quad HD resolution with Wi-Fi running. That's not just good, that's next level endurance. And this wasn't just some idle test. The source says real world usage felt very strong. That's huge. Could this finally be Samsung's turning point for battery optimization? We've been waiting for years. If these improvements hold steady into the stable release, it could change everything. We're not talking about flashy hardware upgrades, we're talking day-to-day -day performance, the kind that actually matters when you're not near a charger. But before you get too hyped, there's one catch this might not roll out everywhere. If you're outside Samsung's beta bubble, don't hold your breath. As usual, the program is likely staying limited to the same seven countries, Germany, India, Poland, UK, US, China, and South Korea. Forums are already live in several of these, so the beta is clearly locked and loaded. Yeah, it's frustrating. Samsung has stuck with this limited region strategy for years, despite fans around the world begging for broader access. And while the demand is louder than ever, there's still no sign of expansion. Looks like history's repeating itself. Still, One UI 8 is shaping up to be more than just another Android skin refresh. It's packed with refinements, better performance, and hopefully a massive boost in battery life if these early signs are legit. So what do you think? Is Samsung about to deliver a real win with One UI 8? Or are we in for another round of beta confusion and missing features? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And hey, if you're excited to see what Samsung does next, especially with Foldables S series surprises and hidden features in future builds, you're going to want to stick around. Until next time, stay curious and stay charged. Peace out!